Hey everybody, this is Dustin, your specialist. And so today I'm looking at a 2022 Grand Design Imagine, and it's a 23 LDE. And so I'm walking around the coach, and it's actually in really good shape. I did notice that they used a different frame design on this year compared to some of the other ones that we've been seeing. Um, one of the things that we're looking at, you know, because now that it's winter, is we're looking at the age of the sealant. So you can see how yellowed this sealant is around the clearance lights. I walked around the coach already and found lots of little bubbles and pockets and areas that are voids and gaps, things that aren't secured, you know, tight enough against the coach. If you look at like the corner here, how tight my finger is compared to the center, um, little gaps in the sealants. So keep an eye on all your sealants and silicones. You know, the um, there are different types of sealants in our industry. So when you hear silicones, everybody goes, oh, no, don't use that. Well, there's RV grade silicones, and that's the type of silicones that I'm talking about. Something else that we noticed, and I just did it in a short, was I believe this is the Lippert Windows. I'm not 100% sure because there's a weird different name on here, but you can see all the sealant has pulled itself loose. And it did that on all four corners. And it did that on both the front window, entry door window, and on the back. So look how bad it did back here as well. You can see where it's all bled out. So keep an eye on that. If that's something that, you know, you see more things probably on your own unit than we would. So if you see little tattletales, or you see things that aren't right, share it with the rest of us so that we can kind of get to know the coaches. You can see that the, uh, the trim here has slid down on the screw cover, dropped loose on the door. So keep an eye on that. That needs to get kind of reset and fixed. There's a lot of items that the silicone has worn off. You can see if you look close here where it was, and it's just kind of worn down from the age because this thing is you know, approaching three years old here pretty soon. Um, you can see where the putty tapes and stuff have bled out. A lot of the times when I'm seeing putty that's bled out, it's usually a sign that that molding is moving and, and you know, walking itself. So keep an eye on that. Again, keep an eye on all your sealants on your lights. You know, I'm checking all the little stuff, you know, like the star washers on the awnings. I'm looking to see if the handles and stuff on the entry doors are secured. Paddle locks, if they're loose or moving. You know, awnings, this particular awning, if you look up here, I caught it earlier when I was looking at the roof, you can see the gimp cord is coming out of it. And I'm always looking at the rails underneath, like this rail. As you can see that big gap underneath there. So that awning rail is actually coming loose from the coach. Um, so I need to write that down. But, you know, again, tail lights, you can see the sealants are all cracked and separated. You can see the actual holes that are there, the openings in it. So make sure that you're checking stuff like that. You can see the dirt marks where the water and dirt has ran down and it's hitting these areas. So sometimes just the smallest little drip, you know, which is coming from somewhere in that corner up there can cause you a lot of headaches as time goes. Um, missing a tire cover, so I'll recommend one of those. Another thing I see a lot is they'll use like a foam pad seal behind the ladders, but there's no silicone around this. And so as time has gone, different units that we've pulled apart over the years, when they're not cap sealed, you know, the cap seal basically acts like a water deflectant. We're wanting to keep water from intruding back behind here and causing damage to the screws and to the walls itself. Same thing with everything else, you know, the lights and all that stuff. So uh, water deflection is a big one for me. And you'll see again how the sealants are all just yellowed and dried out. Some of them are missing. You know, you can see the line where it used to be and it's gone. You know, I'm always looking back behind the appliances to see if they're there. The guys just did a uh, new Schwintech slide out, so system on it. And you can see where they siliconed it. You can see where they did it on both sides from the T-flanges. Um, so, you know, again, look at all your J-Metal. Fender skirts got some cracks in them. Keep an eye out, folks, for, for stuff like that because, you know, there's another Fender skirt with a crack in it. Always looking for stuff that's coming loose. Same thing in another video here on the J-Metal. The J-Metals, a lot of times, they're, they don't put enough brackets in place to hold them. You can see this gap here. Well, that's the original gap. 
and there's only one screw here. So if that comes loose or vibrates out, which it's actually finger tight, what I would have done was I would have took and added a black trifold rivet or just a rivet and suck that gap up. Same thing down here. You'd have to move that screw out to, to get it to close up. But that would be my fix for that. Um, I like that the fact that they put in screws and it looks like they actually measured them out on the Z-Lock. That basically, when there's no screws here, if you have an older coach and you're missing these, or if they're really far spread out, if it separates, the water will travel back through and can cause damage to the floor, to the walls. So make sure that you're keeping up on that sealant as well. Again, you can see how yellow the sealants are. You know, we're looking for gaps or, or missing voids in sealants. See if they went all the way around on the compartments. I checked out all the roof. The roof looks in pretty good shape. There's a couple little areas that are questionable for me, but you know, things that aren't tight, things that aren't sealed. And you can see where this window, the rubber's starting to pucker. And I tried to pop that back in place earlier. It's just shrunk up too much. So maybe dirt too, but that can be cleaned and glued back in place. Um, but you know, stay tuned for more. Again, I hope these videos help you. Um, if you have any questions, you know, or, and if you, again, if you come across anything, make sure you share it in the different groups that we have, whether it be a grand design or not. If you're watching this, we have a grand design RV owners in the RV shop with Dustin. This is where we're showing you different things that we find so that you can be on the lookout to take care of them yourself. So, all right, well, you guys have a good one and we'll look forward to putting another video out as soon as we can. Thanks again for watching.